Let's have a look at the trial of Slipper Vista recently. This was back on the 9th of July. He's going around in the first race there on Sunday, the Amusement Park Handicap. He's been working well during the week. Slipper Vista, he's one to watch in race one. Slipper Vista out in front of Sun Supreme. Pisces Star not far away in third spot. Is sticking on gamely. Slipper Vista is still the leader though. Halfway down the running. Going to the uh, clear second is Pisces Star. And they were followed by Sun Supreme. Slipper Vista still leads the way. They're getting close to home. Holding Pisces Star and Slipper Vista. Slipper Vista goes on to score by two lengths. Second Pisces Star. Third Sun Supreme. Let's have a look at the trial of Saratoga. This was back on the 9th of July. He looked very impressive. He didn't beat a great deal here, but he is a Class 4 performer. He's second up in uh, Malaysia. Let's have a look at him. He's ra in race one there, the Amusement Park Handicap on Sunday. Judge in perfect town, but the leader's going great gun, Saratoga, with 100 to go. And Saratoga draws away for a very comfortable victory. Full given will run to a clear second. And Saratoga was eased up near the post. Saratoga from uh, Forgiven, Small Tiger, Perfect Town. Now going around in race two on Sunday, this is Velfire, number 74, working on the outside of Saratoga. Both of these horses worked impressively during the week, and of course Velfire has been in this segment before, and I think he's ready to show his best form following three runs from a spell, and he looks to be in a winnable race this weekend. He's had the 33 race starts for three wins and eight placings overall, prepared by Noor Asman. That's Valfire working up on the outside of stablemate Saratoga. Let's have a look at Horizon Lad. That's him working up on the inside of a stablemate. Of course, he's won two out of his last three starts. He Horizon Lad racing in good form, and he was only just outside the course record in winning here at Epo three starts back and he stretched out nicely on the grass during the week. That's Horizon Lad. He's going around in race three. The last winning performance of Horizon Lad. This was back on the 30th of June, and that's Horizon Lad in uh, racing midfield in the blue jacket with the white sleeves about to peel to the outside, and it looked very impressive this day. Horizon Lad. On the inside, K-Pop, and further back there, Lady Diamond, she's creeping up on the inside, look at her come, Horizon Lad goes for it on the outside, it is Horizon Lad now heading the front from Lady Diamond, Inter Reward continues to battle, Old Grave is on the outside putting in a finish, but Horizon Lad got there, Horizon Lad swamped the field and takes that race to a cracker, second Inter Reward in third place might be Lady Diamond ahead of Old Grave. Now this year's coffee shop gossip uh, doing his track work uh, routine on the sand here during the week. Of course he's engaged in the class 4 mile race on Sunday and showed a return to form when he made up good ground at Penang last start when finishing a close up second behind Raffles Pegasus in the Tattersall's Trophy. Has not won for 18 months but uh, coffee shop gossip was given a light workout with the Winkers during the week and uh, he is going around in race 4 on Sunday. Now this is Martel who is uh, stretching out nicely on the grass. The, uh, the other horse in picture there was Chafang Bay, the stable mate. But Martel, well it's featured in this track work segment on numerous occasions. He's had um, four runs in Malaysia for three placings and uh, looked a bit flat last start and perhaps was a bit disappointing on face value. Normally likes to race off the speed. So pay to give him another chance, Martel. He's uh, going around in the lightning flash handicap. That is race number four. Now, this is the Golden Knight runner. This is Well Nature, and uh, still a maiden after 12 starts, but should strip a lot fitter following three runs from a spell. And uh, came home nicely behind Speed Star at Penang a fortnight ago there, Well Nature. So, has got the form on the board, improving with every run, and comes into a maiden race on the minimum. He's worth watching. He's going around in uh, race five there on Sunday. That is the our antidote handicap, Well Nature. Now, this is David Dynasty. He's uh, working up on the 
outside here of a stable mate Saki Saki and uh, David Dynasty has struggled in his past two runs after contesting a class four followed up by a heat of the Malaysia three-year-old championship he returns to a more suitable class five lineup on Sunday where he scored over the track and distance here back at the end of April he uh, worked strongly on the sand at David Dynasty there with uh, Jay Shankar aboard outside of uh, stable mate Saki Saki David Dynasty he goes around in race 12. Now let's have a look at uh, Mr. Magic. That's him working up on the inside of Stablemates Bale and the uh, widest runner there, Blue Centre. Mr. Magic's the one we'll concentrate on, though. He's coming off a recent victory at Penang when he won by four lengths over the mile and uh, dominated a field up there. He's had the 26 starts overall for two wins and a four placings. He's normally a quick beginner. And he drops back to the 1,400 on the short course this week. He's going around in race 12 also, the Jakarto Handicap. That's uh, Mr. Magic.